top story then tonight. Rishi Sunak has U-turned on his promise to shut down 30 Chinese state-sponsored Confucius Institutes across Britain. This programme can reveal. The Prime Minister pledged to ban the controversial centres during the Conservative leadership race last summer, but ministers now believe doing so would be, and I quote again, disproportionate. The centres have been linked to the surveillance and propaganda arms of the Chinese Communist Party. And that U-turn is likely to make some of the PM's already restless Tory MPs more unhappy still. And it comes just as the former Prime Minister Liz Truss touches down in Taiwan for a controversial speech which she'll make in just a few hours' time. So why has that made China just so angry? Well, Taiwan is a self-governing island that split from the Communist mainland in 1949, but has been claimed ever since by China as its own sovereign territory. Taiwan is, though, dwarfed by its neighbour, which has recently threatened to take it back by force and insists any formal declaration of independence could trigger an invasion. Well, for more on this now, let's speak to Talk TV's political editor, Kate McCann, who is breaking that story tonight. Kate, good evening. So what's going on here? Well, look, Rishi Sunak has been treading a very careful line on his government's China policy ever since he came into... United Kingdom requires to do extra to safeguard herself from China, declares Sunak. The PM has cautioned that the United Kingdom wants to take the essential strides to shield itself from the increasing risk presented by China. In a consultation with ITV News at the conference of the G7 presidents of the Great Plush Nations, Rishi Sunak profess of China that I quote, Its behavior is increasingly authoritarian at home and assertive abroad. Rishi went ahead to say, and I quote China is, as an epoch-defining systemic challenge, he reiterated in a warning he has issued lately, and I quote, the only country with both the needs and the intention to reshape the global order. He uttered and I quote, we need to make sure that we take the steps to protect ourselves against that in the UK. He provided as an instance that the administration had, and I quote, blocked Chinese investment in sensitive sectors like semiconductors. Surveillance and propaganda arms of the Chinese government, they are funded almost entirely by the Chinese government itself. So you can see why there would be concerns there. Now, his promise to ban them was well received. It was something that party leaders and others wanted to see him do. But I have a quote from the government on this. They say, we are taking action to remove all government funding from Confucius Institute. So it's still being funded by the government for, for Mandarin lessons in the UK. But we currently judge that it would be disproportionate to ban them. Now, that will come as a surprise to many, including, obviously, Ian Duncan Smith and others who have said that these institutes need to be shut down. There are many ways to do it. You either remove funding for Mandarin lessons, which the government has not yet done but plans to. You could remove the particular tier five visa, which was introduced ahead of a visit by Chinese politicians in 2014, which is specifically to be used by these institutions and which still exists. There are many reasons why people want these banned, but now the government is not going to do that. OK, another example of campaigning in poetry and governing in prose, perhaps. Let's talk about Liz Truss. Now, she's touched down in Taiwan. She's going to make her big speak in just under five hours' time at 3 a.m. our time. A quite extraordinary, furious reaction from the Chinese government, though, tonight. Yeah, I mean, I was talking just there about the fact that Conservative... Please join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the TAO Media family. Please like and share TAO Media. We love you all. Please support TAO Media Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.